What is the color of specimen A? Specimen A is dark brown in color. Is dark brown in color. The fifth question. State the respiratory organ of specimen A. The respiratory organ of specimen A. Majorly all insects. They respire through the trachea system. Trachea system through the spiracles. Called the respiratory organ and spiracle. So the next question is specimen A possesses dash and dash mouth pass. It possesses biting and chewing mouth pass. Possesses biting and chewing. So the next one states the sex of specimen A with reasons. In the Explanation given, you find out that this specimen, the wing extends beyond the abdomen. The wing extends beyond the abdomen. Definitely, it is a male cockroach, and there is presence of anal style. There is presence of anal style. So that makes it a male cockroach. Question eight. State for economic importance of specimen A. And uh, economic importance. When you are asked to state the economic importance of any of a specimen, it simply means the interpretation of this is that you should state the advantages and the disadvantages of the specimen. Because a disadvantage to other animals may be an advantage to the specimen itself or other processes. So we are looking at the economic importance of specimen A, which is cockroach. Number one, it acts as vectors for the transmission of diseases like leprosy. That's number one, one of the economic importance of specimen A. Number two, it constitutes nuisance and irritation at home. Then the next economic importance is it may serve as a source of food for some animals like domestic fowl and other birds can feed can feed on the specimen. The next one is destroys and contaminates food. It destroys food and also contaminates food. Then the next one it destroys materials like clothing and books, it eats all books and other materials at home. We are moving to the next question. State five structural adaptations used by specimen A against predators. Now, when you have been asked to state the structural adaptation of structural features of a particular specimen, the interpretation of this is you are to state those things the specimen possesses that allows it to survive in its environment so or to survive against predators as stated in the question those things the organism the specimen uses against predation so when you look at this specimen you find out that it has the compound eye the compound eye is used for wild vision. The compound eye is used for wide vision. It allows the specimen to see the predators so it can easily run away from predators. Number two, presence of an antenna. This antenna is used for sensitivity. It is used for sensitivity. Then it has three pairs of walking legs, presence of walking legs. Can use these walking legs to run away from danger. To run away from danger. The next thing is presence of wings. Presence of wings for flight. So when danger is coming, when predators are coming, the wings aid in the flight away from predators. The next thing we said it has a dark brown color. The dark brown color it is actually used as camouflage against 
uh, predators. So it can actually blend with the surrounding. So that predators will, uh, will not be able to notice the specimen. So the last one, we talk about the shape. We said it has a dosoventrally flattened body. So this shape allows it to hide in crevices. So those are the structural adaptation of specimen A against predators. The next question, which is number 10, you know, we place this specimen under class, you know, know the class insector. So the question is asking us to state five reasons for placing specimen A into the class above. So why do you place it under insector? This question, the interpretation to this question is what are the characteristics of insects? What are the characteristics of insects? There are so many characteristics of insects. I'll list so you can finish it up. One, look at this. Presence of uh, three pairs of walking legs. Three pairs of walking legs and jointed appendages. Three pairs of walking legs, we say three pairs of uh, jointed appendages. And body division is divided into three. So they are triple, uh, triple plastic divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. There are so many other features you can talk of. I talk of the skeleton, exoskeleton, made of chitin, and some other characteristics that make it to be an insect. Now, specimen A possesses that type of skeleton. I've said it, it has exoskeleton. Next uh, question, which is a uh, question 12. States two ways of controlling specimen A. We generally know that specimen A is an insect, and one of the ways of controlling insects is the use of insecticide. The use of insecticide. Number two way of uh, controlling specimen A is the use of uh, the also set traps for the specimen. And the last one on that, that uh, is the biological control. The biological control, you make use of a natural enemy of the specimen. You can introduce a domestic fowl to eat up the specimen. So those are the likely questions that may be asked on uh, the specimen in Wyeck and Merkel. If there's any other question, you can forward to me.